what is going on you stark raving lunatics i it's been a few days since i've done any content on luna classic wanted to give a few days see if there was any kind of increase in information stuff like that you know the charts were just kind of meandering wasn't looking at a breakout there was a potential for something i don't know if it was going to be sustained because there was no purpose or function behind anything happening so uh, we got a little bit of information in the meantime and in fact our chart which I said, you know, I think maybe we'll break out. Um, I don't think we actually broke out, or at least we attempted the breakout, and it didn't last. So uh, now we got to talk about some of the news that's going around here, and we're just broadly going to peck our way through it real quick and see, you know, where every, all the pieces fit. Uh, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell to be notified. You will notice, uh, you can see who I am. I'm not hiding behind anything. Uh, I am fully KYC. It does not take you much to find out who I am. Uh, so, you know, in situation being that the KYC thing is now under attack from wink, wink, you know, wink, wink, you know, so it didn't take very long before, uh, people like, oh my God, I, uh, no, there's nobody, everything is just, everybody's disappeared. It's all done. It's all gone. Oh gosh, my pearl necklace or whatever this person, these people are crying about, uh, because, uh, they, they. They don't want to be found. They don't want you to know who they are. They, they, and by the way, you never would know who they are anyway. The KYC process is to protect you, the investor. But these people, they don't care about you. Uh, they care about continuing to grift and continuing to get more lunk out of it uh, so that they can continue their process. Um, don't believe me? Look around. So Montenegro court rules to extradite Terra platform. Uh, Terraform louder, uh, founder uh, Duquan. And l listen, this is very interesting, uh, despite that it's just disgusting. Um, the high court made two decisions. One, one, the extradition of Duquan to the U.S. and the other rejecting South Korea's request on the same ground. The Court of Appeals will decide on both decisions in the high court. Quan, known as the cryptocurrency king, is wanted by the U.S., where he's wanted for charges of fraud by federal prosecutors in New York, and South Korean prosecutors have also sought extradition. Now, uh, it should be noted that Du Quan is from South Korea. Nothing that he's done is in the United States. There's no purpose behind him going to the United States other than, other than, uh, the United States deceiving and using deceptive practices to get him away from Montenegro. Do you see? The United States has no purpose here. The purpose here is served by a citizen of South Korea who committed crimes in South Korea being tried in South Korea. But that's not what we're doing. So uh, what the Montenegrin authorities are doing uh, is bought and paid for by the U.S. government. Don't believe me? Look around. Uh, next up, uh, because of the bankruptcy filing, Crypto.com did delist Luna Classic, which, um, of course, Luna uh, Crypto.com, um, you know, I don't know at this point if Crypto.com, I'm starting to feel like the level of trust with Crypto.com is just not there because they said they were going to delist. Then they said they're not going to delist until April. Then they decided they were going to delist on February 15. Uh, and they've gone back and forth and back and forth and, and forth and back, if you will. So it's a very awkward sort of scenario that seems to be playing out right here. Crypto.com doesn't seem to know what it is that they're doing. And that is very alarming if you're an investor, especially if you're an investor at Crypto.com. Uh, I would take my money off of this exchange no matter what, not because of Luna Classic, by the way, but because of the inconsistency by which they did this. Remember, you got an email that said they were delisting. Then you got an email saying they weren't and they were going to pause everything until April 15. And then you got another list, one that said, oh, by the way, we see trading on February 15. Uh -huh. That's a little bit deceptive. Um, not, that, not that it matters. I mean, basically, you can transfer your tokens off of there. You can do whatever you need to do, but the point is that is incredibly deceptive what they did and a little bit wild. So, you know, I would uh, I would venture to say that you should be very careful when dealing with crypto.com at this point. But let's move on and let's talk about what's going on here. Uh, you got a proposal up. Now, this has not made it to governance yet, but uh, this is in the forums and it wants to repeal the KYC, somebody named Tectorius. Uh, and it says, after the implementation of KYC, the chain began to lose ground. It's been a couple days. So uh, is it losing ground? 
What's going on, everybody? From now until the 26th, Cryptonomy.finance is doing a drawing and hosting a giveaway. Make sure that you participate because this could be massive. You can also follow them on Telegram. Links in the description below and on X. The description is also in the link down below. Also, make sure that you guys understand that I have done a fantastic job so far. You can see what I've done. So th this, by the way, this is not cash out until November 21, but so far my accrued interest is 61,820. And let me point out here what I'm doing here. This is the launch pool. This is the big uh, launch pool that I keep telling you guys about. And here's the thing. You see tokens that I talk to you about. You see stuff like Dev E. Uh, you see stuff like DeFi. You see real tokens, Ruby Protocol that are, are getting vector protocol. These are things that we've discussed on this channel where these things have started to blow up and they've started to have uh, these, these, these big um, uh, moves and take advantage of it while the opportunity presents itself. And remember uh, to get in, you have until February 20th. No, it's not. As a matter of fact, um, this is, uh, it's not a couple days either, by the way, that, that KYC just happened. So we're up since then so but i'll get to that in just a second here uh but th they they put the proposal for kyc uh despite efforts to understand the importance of kyc most arguments seem to be based on emotions that that's that emotions have no place in business decision so why don't you like a real boy or a real woman uh take your emotions out of it and know that it's important for people to know that the people who are handling their money are trustworthy this is not about you the user of Luna Classic uh, being KYC. This is about you, the business operating on the KYC chain, uh, being validated as being safe to do business with, or in the event that you decide to go rogue, that it will be easy to be found and then prosecuted. That that is the bridge too far for Tectorius. So. Um, this, he wants to propose a repeal of the KYC. And this is just the same group of deceptive people who happen to have multiple validators who were told by Jesus, by the way, to have multiple validators. It's very say it's very seedy. It's very unsavory. Uh, and it is the, it is a horrible look for this blockchain. So I'm hoping that something is going to change now on to proposals here. Uh, burn 800 million UST three P three contract migration, uh, USTC through contract migration. Um, so if that's going on, then what is this 800 million that's part of the circulating in total supply? It happens to be the same amount. So I would venture to say that that's probably already out and that this really doesn't have an effect. This is just a hype mechanism. So I don't put too much merit to this, even though. It's a great proposal because if you add it back into the pool, then you dilute the current value of it. But um, it, I don't know that this is a really a thing that's going to affect price in any appreciable way because it appears that there's already 800 million exactly tokens that are taken out of the current supply. So uh, and then uh, there's another proposal up to set the minimum initial deposit to one million lunk. Um, and that's going through the prep that's obviously been clearly going to pass over here uh, to prevent, uh, you know, lower uh, amounts. You can go read this for yourself. It's 12071. Um, but this uh, uh, they're increasing the minimum to one million because it, at present, the minimum can be a little bit lower. So uh, that's all. Uh, but uh, tax to gas implementation is going to fail. Uh, the paper job practic practicable implementation uh, of JL1TF and the TCC cooperation revised looks like it's going to pass as of right now. Uh, it'll take a, a few more votes before we really get some clarity on it. We got two more days. Uh, staking guidelines on centralized exchanges and the Terra blockchains not going to pass. Uh, tax to gas implementation not going to pass. So uh, you can see right here that, that I mean, there's just a lot of wild, a lot of people putting in proposals and mm, not really happening but these two are the important ones over here uh this definitely needs to pass this one over here it doesn't i don't think it matters if it passes for the price it's important because you don't want those tokens to 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 pop back up on the chain because that would dilute the price incredibly by 10 percent uh on on your bag which would take your three thousand down to 2700 if you will so uh but uh, volume is up uh on terra classic just a little bit on the day not tremendously remember this was a billion traded volume not that long ago, 700 million market cap. And then you have uh, USTC, 266 million market cap and $50 million 
in trade volume. You know, a lot of people are looking at that 800 million burn and they're saying, you know, this is something that I would want to do. Uh, probably not realizing that it looks like, and I'm going to get confirmation of this, but it really looks like it's already included in here because what other 800 million has been burned off of Terra, uh, off of USTC in, in all this time? Like, I don't think any. So, um, you know, that's where it is. And no real news otherwise that, that to report on all these other chains. Um, just a lot of hype, stuff like that. You know, you get normal Haley Lung, stuff like that. that are continuing to do their thing. Um, if you want day-to-day -day information, you want, uh, uh, you want solid, quote-unquote, angles for what's going on, go check out Happy Caddy Crypto, uh, Luna Classic Labs, Mr. Diamond Hands. Go check out the people who are doing the real work, uh, the people who are out here not deceiving you. Um, Terraport.finance, if you want to go check them out, do some trading over there. Uh, that's where I was doing a little bit of trading with Rex YZ. Uh, I like that. Uh, very smooth in, in how it works right now so uh and i'm holding by the way i did do a flip like i told you guys i would do uh, i did do a flip so now i'm just waiting for ustc to get a nice little pump and then i'm gonna flip it back into uh, luna classic well that's my time guys so thank you so much for tuning in it's not financial advice my name is believes i'm always right thank you so much for tuning in we'll talk to you again